Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you 10 things that you can cook in your pizza oven that is not pizza. Now, some of you know, I bought this for my husband as a Christmas gift, but we've really started to use it a lot now that it's the summertime. And the other day we had some leftover dough, but we had had enough pizza. So we thought, what else could we make with this? We did some research and we found so many cool things that you can cook in this. So I wanted to share it with you guys. I'll link all of the recipes in the description down below, but we're gonna be sharing with you desserts and sweet treats, a breakfast, some sides, um, a starter as well, and just some really cool ideas. So I hope you really enjoy this video. The pizza oven that we have is an Uni Fira. It's a portable one, so you can take it away with you or even camping. But if you're watching this and you don't actually have a pizza oven, don't worry. I think this will still give you just some cool ideas of things that you can make on your barbecue or in your actual oven. And if you're new to this channel, I would love you to consider subscribing. I post loads of foodie content and I would love to have you. But with all that said, let's get into the video. So first off, I wanted to show you how to make s'mores in the pizza oven. This is such a delicious treat and it's also such a cool thing to do after you've had a pizza night. You could put this into your pizza oven and impress your guests and it's very simple. So first off, I'm putting a small can of sweetened condensed milk into a cast iron pan and then I'm also going to add in a bag of chocolate chips. I'm using dark or semi-sweet because I find that the milk is so nice and sweet and because they're chocolate chips, they melt down really quickly when you do put this into the pizza oven. And then on top of that, you'll just wanna place some marshmallows. I had various sizes of marshmallows, so I pretty much just used what I had, but it looks quite cool whether you get the jumbo ones, which I pick up in the American section in the supermarket, or at the small ones, it will just go like toasty and brown, and it's so delicious. They all get really melty, and then you can use biscuits or graham crackers for dipping. So I put this in for about five minutes, but I kept checking it and turning the pan around slightly until it was like nice and evenly browned around the sides. And that is it. Then people can just help themselves and go into the marshmallows like this and you get some chocolate, you get the condensed milk and obviously the marshmallow and yeah, such a sweet treat. Another favorite that we've made in our pizza oven are these garlic and chili prawns. These are so delicious and so very simple and quick to make. So all I'm gonna do is put the jumbo prawns into this cast iron pan. I actually bought a set of three to use in the pizza oven, so I'll link them down below. Then I'm also putting on some garlic and herb seasoning and I'm being quite generous. And then I'm gonna add on some finely chopped chilies. And that is literally it at this stage. Then you just put it into your pizza oven for about three minutes, I would say, but I did check on it a couple of times. And you can see when it changes color that it's all done and sizzling. And then I'm just gonna add on quite a bit of butter and then also some finely chopped parsley or basil, whichever you have. These are just so delicious. These would be a great starter or side if you were having a party or barbecue. Next up, I wanted to show you that the pizza oven is amazing for making restaurant style fajitas. So we're making steak fajitas tonight. So once again, I've got my cast iron pan. I've got some fajita seasoning that I'm gonna put onto strips of steak, but I will also link below. There's an amazing recipe on the Uni website for a steak marinade for this kind of thing, but I was too lazy. I just used a bit of olive oil and fajita seasoning and it was really, really delicious just like that. So I'm mixing that around, getting the oil on the steak, also adding in some salt and pepper, and then I'm just gonna put all of that into the pan. I was kind of arranging it so that when it comes out, it looks all lovely. So I just lined the strips of steak down the center of the pan, and then I put the chopped peppers and onions just along the sides, but you could literally put like in this, whatever you normally want to have in fajitas. And then I've added on a bit more of the chilies and any seasoning like that I had left over as well. And then you wanna stick this into your pizza oven and you would not believe how quickly all of this cooks. It's so, so fast, like literally just minutes and it comes out like really sizzling and it's so impressive and you can serve it obviously with wraps and all the sides that you would want for fajitas. So yeah, obviously the pan is very hot, but it is such a delicious dinner. 
I also wanted to show you how to make a breakfast pizza in your pizza oven. And I know I said that this video was gonna be ideas that weren't pizza, but this is a little bit different and it's using the Uni pizza oven in the morning. So it's like at breakfast time. So you basically use a pizza base as you normally would. So I've got the dough out, I've rolled it into a base, but then you top it with all things breakfast. So I've got mushrooms, bacon, I've got some mozzarella, I've got cherry tomatoes, and an egg as well. And when you put the egg on, you kind of wanna put it to one side because as you slide the pizza into the oven, the yolk and the egg kind of moves forward. And I checked on this a few times and I actually broke the egg, but I think like you guys could probably get it like all beautifully, like with the egg in the middle. And I think I just need to practice a little bit. So there you go, you can see it here. But my husband, Matt, thought this was so delicious. It was really filling as well he only ate half of it so it could be for like two to share and then you can serve it with like orange juice coffee like fruit like you normally would so just a cool thing if you're like away on vacation or camping might be a nice one and what about baked camembert in your pizza oven this is such a cool idea if you're entertaining or having a date night or you just like cheese like me just want to put the camembert into a pan like this and you can also make little dough balls to be served with it and then you want to put like little cuts into the top of the cheese because that will speed up how like hot it gets and then put it into the pizza oven for five minutes until it's all gooey and delicious and I saw a recipe where they put like fresh thyme on top and honey and that looked really good but equally it is also good just plain like this and you could serve it with crackers or dough balls as I say and it's just a really like impressive one to have in the pizza oven and of course I had to mention a dessert pizza this is such a good one if you have a little bit of leftover dough we had that the other day with friends but we actually made another pizza and then it didn't really get eaten because everyone had already eaten loads of pizza so we should have done this it was super simple you just roll out your pizza dough like normal so you have a base then you put some Nutella on top and then I'm adding on some giant chocolate buttons, some marshmallows and some banana and like you could literally top this with anything that you like, maybe some Biscoff spread. I put some white chocolate chips on top as well and then we're just gonna stick that into the pizza oven for literally one minute like a normal pizza would take and I checked on it a few times, twisted it round and put it back in like normal. I would really recommend using miniature marshmallows because the big ones got quite hot as you can see but then you can just cut this up and serve and it's really like it's like a nice sweet treat that the kids will also love. I also wanted to show you how to make a really simple side, which are these maple roasted carrots with rosemary. So what I did was peel and chop up the carrots first and parboil them so they weren't completely raw going into the pizza oven. Then I just put them into a pan with some salt, some pepper, some chopped up fresh rosemary and a big glug of maple syrup. And then I'm just going to move all that around so they're kind of all coated in the syrup and then put that into our pizza oven for about three minutes or so. And this is really nice because they come out really sweet and sticky, um, but they're also like a bit char grilled and they've got the rosemary but then also they've almost got like a bit of the woody taste from the pizza oven itself. These are really, really Moorish and I really liked that they were like a bit char grilled like this. So yeah, definitely give this one a try. An amazing starter, which is also quite a lot like pizza, but I wanted to share this because this tastes just like the one that you order in Prezzo's or Zizi's. It is like a garlic bread with caramelized onion and mozzarella as well. So as normal, I've rolled out a pizza dough that I have. I actually buy the ones from Sainsbury's and they're really, really nice if you can't be bothered to make dough. Then I've just topped it with some garlic butter that I mixed together just with butter and garlic paste. Then I put on some herbs, some mozzarella and some caramelized onion and I'm sticking that in 
and it takes just 60 seconds or so and it comes out bubbling like this and then what I like to do is actually cut it in little like rectangles so that people can like tear and eat it and it's just like a lovely starter if you were having a bit of a pizza party. And if you find that you do have a bit of leftover dough after you've had dinner, a really cool idea is you could make cinnamon rolls for the morning or for another day. So I've just rolled out that bit of leftover. I'm covering it in a bit of butter. And then I'm also gonna add on some brown sugar and some cinnamon as well. But you could mix the butter and the sugar and the cinnamon all into a paste if you wanted to and put that on as well. Then I'm just gonna roll this up and this made about three cinnamon rolls. So it's just great because it's not nice to like waste anything and then you have this like little pastry for the morning. Um, so yeah, I love this idea. And again, it doesn't take very long and they smell delicious. And a simple snack that we tried was baked apples. This is again, really simple to make. You just chop up some apples, then add in some butter, some brown sugar, and some cinnamon as well. And then I also added in some raisins and then put that into the pizza oven. I wouldn't actually recommend putting the raisins on it though. I thought it would be lovely, but actually cause it's so hot in there, they tended to like burn a little bit. Some of them at the bottom were really nice, um, but a couple of them burnt. So maybe avoid the raisins. But this was like a really nice, it's almost like a Greek dish. I don't know if you've ever had this, um, but yeah, a really nice snack and quite a healthy dessert. And the last thing that I wanted to show you is this like stuffed loaf. So we bought this loaf, but I would really recommend that if you try this one, because it would be a great starter, is you get like a smaller bag get and just make sure that it fits into your pizza oven before you do this because ours was like quite a close call. Um, so what I'm doing is just cutting it so that it's nearly at the bottom but not all the way through and then I'm going to stuff the gaps with some cheeses and also some like salami as well and then this can be like a nice tear and share um, starter or like something to have on a buffet something like that so I'm just stuffing all of this meat into the like crevices and then I also added on a couple of different types of cheese I put in some red Leicester and some mozzarella as well and then you just stick that into your pizza oven for not very long just until the cheese is all melted and delicious and then you take that out and then people can help themselves but as I said this loaf was quite big, so the back end of it was a bit more blackened, which my husband actually really likes burnt toast and stuff, um, so it was fine, but I would recommend either cutting it in half or getting a smaller loaf. Right, so that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything else that you make in your pizza oven. And if you do wanna see a tutorial of how I just like make pizza in this, I can of course do that as well. Just let me know in the comments and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.